Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Malir and today as promised I'm going to show you how to make this mega growth beard oil. So our goal for today is to create a beard oil that would stimulate growth, moisturize, add shine, nourish the skin underneath, reduce ingrown hairs and scarring. Oh no we don't want those. <laughs> and smell amazing okay so for this simple tutorial all you're gonna need are just a few things you're definitely gonna need lemon essential oil which is gonna add you know some fragrance to your um, oil and you're also gonna need some peppermint oil this is great for stimulating growth and also smells amazing you're gonna need vitamin E oil this is gonna serve as a preservative and also hair growth um, oil and you're gonna need tea tree oil great antiseptic and Good old castor oil the black castor oil. This one needs a stand innovation. This is the ish. Okay You're gonna need some jojoba oil as well as a one ounce dropper bottle. I got this from Amazon and So let's get started So let me just tell you I don't have enough measuring instruments. I'm gonna do it the getaway you don't have to because I'm going to give you measurements but I'm dividing this bottle which is one ounce into three parts by my eyes and basically filling it one filling one third of the measurement with the black castor oil black castor oil is the holy grail it has so many other oils infused into it including coconut oil and so many other great things um, if you want to get your edges like laid and looking flourished you need to get you some black castor oil if you want to you know you could just even use black castor oil for your beard and it will still work okay but we want to you know get a little bit more bougie so i'm going to be you know pouring this up to about one third of the bottle be steady here okay all right all right stop stop okay good job good job good job i didn't have a drop on the table like i get a clap or something all right cool so next we're gonna be having to add the 5 ml of jojoba oil and since I still don't have a measured instrument for this measurement I'm gonna divide one the one third you know I divide it into three so another one third of the bottle I'm gonna divide that into two if that makes sense and basically filling that up with jojoba oil um, which is equivalent, like I said, is 5 ml, okay? Jojoba oil is the only oil that I know of that mimics your sebum the best. Your sebum is basically the oils that your skin produces naturally. And it's not greasy, it is great for your skin, um, and I love it. Next is going to be vitamin E oil, and don't worry, now we're done with all the ghetto stuff. We're dealing with drops, so that's not big of a deal. <laughs> And we're going to be adding 20 drops of vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is a great thing for your skin. It helps with scarring. It helps with, you know, it's a great preservative as well. So that's good. And we're going to add tea tree oil. This is going to serve as an antiseptic and help with like, you know, um, heal your skin in general and prevent bacteria and stuff. And we only added three drops of those. You can do one if you don't like the smell. But I thought three was perfect and four drops of lemon oil which smells amazing like out of the world and two to three drops of peppermint oil as well great growth oil and also helps to s stimulate like the cells of your skin to help you know your skin produce more hair next thing is going to be extra virgin olive oil that bottle was super big so i had to you know whip my thing out and this bot, I only have two of these and I got them from Walmart. They're one ml um, and I'm going to be using just one ml of the extra virgin olive oil because olive oil is a little bit more on the greasy side and I don't want to put too much of that because you don't want to be looking like you just fell into like a pot of, you know, oil, cooking oil. And, but it's great. It's a great oil. So yeah. The next thing that also helps with hair growth is castor oil the first one we added was the black Jamaican castor oil this is just plain castor oil um, so basically this bottle is just filled with castor oil to be honest um, I'm adding four ounces of castor oil 
just 100% pure castor oil for your skin. I got that from Whole Foods and I love this stuff. It's great for your hair. It makes your hair really soft. Um, it's just amazing for especially coarse hair or 4 hair. You added 4 ml of those and yes. So we are done and we still have a little bit more space. But we're going to be like shaking this up. Just shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. All the way. Alright, so we're gonna go with some alcohol to wipe away those silly max we made with the Sharpie. <laughs> Get that all out. You don't want that in your present. It don't look cool, it doesn't look cute. So yeah, we have this golden beauty ready for use. And I just slap on there my label, which I made with canva.com. It's free, it's easy to make. You could like design your own thing and have a list of all your ingredients up there showing, you know, a little bit more bouginess. Like you did too much, but you didn't. <laughs> so yeah. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your loved ones and your friends, make some for your boyfriend, make some for yourself, you know, share the love and let me know if you guys use oils for your beard and if you do, what kind of oils help your beard grow and, you know, what kind of oil makes it nourishing and yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe, like, comment and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, if you haven't already checked out my video on how to make the mega good beard balm check that out make it pair these two things up and get the maximum results all right i will talk to you guys in my next video bye i'm out